I'd like to talk to you about how to use your ruler. So in the room, in the drawer, marked rulers, you are, if you open that up, you're gonna see all sorts of different rulers in there. And I wanna show you the different types of rulers we have. So as you can see from the picture, we have these clear plastic ruler, which has inch marks. So we have one inch, two inch, three inch, and you can see through it. We also have our standard regular type school ruler, which also has inches. Now what I want you to notice about this particular ruler, and almost all rulers do this, is rulers, a lot of times, rulers will start at the edge over here, and when you're at the edge of the ruler, this is usually zero. And then you have one inch, and two inch, and three inch. So the big mark right here, that's the in, in inches, okay? So there's that type of ruler. We also have rulers that have centimeters. So if you can see the CM right here, that means centimeters. We don't use the centimeter side. We always use the inch side. So we want to flip our ruler and we want to make sure we're using the inches. Now I want you to notice something different between this ruler and this ruler. Do you see over here? This ruler starts zero at the end of the ruler. But do you see this mark here for this long mark right here? this is actually indicating zero. So if I were measuring on my paper, I would be putting my paper on the edge with that line right there, and then I would be measuring from there my inches. So this would be considered zero on this particular ruler. This next ruler, instead of having centimeters, it has millimeters. So you can tell centimeters versus millimeters. So centimeters is CM, millimeters is MM. But again, and here's another one, but again, we don't want to be using millimeters. We always want to be using inches. So I'm gonna turn my ruler around and I would be using inches. This ruler, zero starts over at the end. Now look at this one. You might say, well, there is no inches. Here's one that's a millimeter and there are no inches. But if you turn the ruler over, now you have your inch side. And again, zero is at the end. So you have to kind of be careful because some rulers, the zero starts at the end and other rulers, the zero comes in. Now in using your ruler, and I'm just gonna use this one right here. In using your ruler in art, when we hold our ruler, a lot of students have a tendency to want to hold their ruler down here. And they hold it down here with a finger or two, and then they start to draw their line, and then your ruler ends up shifting. So if you don't want your ruler to shift and you want to make sure you have a nice straight line, then you have to make sure that you're holding your ruler in the middle. So I'm going to take my fingers and I'm gonna actually spread my hands out. And the hand that is holding the ruler is, the, is not my writing hand. So if you're left-handed and you normally write with your left hand, then you would be holding your ruler this way, okay? And you would be drawing. And notice how when I'm holding my ruler and I'm pressing down with my fingers spread out wide in the middle, notice my ruler does not shift. Okay, and sometimes it means we have to turn our paper in another direction to get to be able to see where that other line is or where we might want that line to go. Now I'm right handed, so this is more comfortable for me over here. But again, notice I'm holding my ruler here in the middle. So you always want to hold your ruler nice and tight in the middle, and you want to make sure that you are using your pencil right up against the ruler. I have seen some students who have done this, where they hold this up and then they're drawing here. And they're drawing along the line, along the side. You don't want to draw along the side. You want your lead to touch the ruler and you want to draw right up against the ruler. That's what that ruler is there for, okay? So that's how you use a ruler. That's how you hold a ruler, not way down here where it can shift but more towards the middle, holding it down so it'll stay in place. And if you're trying to, whatever, wherever you're trying to draw the ruler, you might have to turn your paper so you can see the area you want your line to be in, and that's okay.
So that's how we use the ruler. And when you're done, your ruler will go back into the ruler drawer and then you'll close the drawer whenever all the rulers have been put away.